Hi there friends and welcome to episode 7 of the Artifacts Act. I'm Icon and today we will bring our cultivators a little bit further. Of course, we always do. But I also plan on building a little bit of a uh, cultivation hotel here. So, all these visitors, you know, they are really, really unhappy with us. And therefore, I think it's about time to make sure that they get a nice apartment where they can live at and where they are happy with everything. So <clears throat> another thing that I wanted to do today was to bring up a huge just storage area. Nothing special, just just plain old storage warehouse if you want to say so. So we're, we're going to just put up giant walls here and just store stuff in there. <clears throat> Probably expand that area once. We need that. We need that. So one click favor your guests is a good thing because they they enjoy their stay more if they like your people. Cheating for sure. I don't mind. Playing this game is already hard enough, even if you skip out on certain elements of it. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. Because I realized that this little storage yard here is uh, hopelessly overcrowded. Okay, now, Mountain Full Moon. Let's go towards Copper Tomb. I'm pretty sure that I haven't checked out the people there yet. And also, I do have some hopes that we might actually be capable of slaying another demon here. Okay. Meanwhile, Junju is really getting somewhere with her cultivation. There we go. She's on a limit now, but I'm going to let her regain some mental stability first. Or do I? No, I don't. Okay. There we go. So, let's change the elemental affinity of this place a little bit. And use jade offcuts instead of the wood offcuts. Oh yeah, traces of an old friend. So, we can't find the formation manuals in Mount Copper Tomb, but just like I usually do, since I don't need them right now, since formations are so far out of reach for us now, right now, I'll just leave the manuals there and be like, I know where I'll find you guys once I need you. Yeah, we, we haven't entered Mount Copper Tomb yet once, so I gotta be careful with that, but probably we're gonna find some demon beasts to mug. Jun might be a really weak fighter, but there is, with enough patience, we are capable of beating down entire demons. Okay, here we go. Let's pick up some iron ore. I mean, that's one of the local specialties, ain't it? Therefore, let's go. So this is the actual city. Let's see... Neutral characters. I want to check out if anybody here is actually... Cultivation material, you know? I really like that new feature. This makes it so much easier to, to filter out what you, want to, what you want to have. Look at this person, though. Meng Yuanbai is the, is the perfect person to go... Or another abbot. We're definitely gonna hire her. Let's go for a one click favor and invite her over to our place because I'm beyond any doubt that she's going to be a massively uh, good abbot for our sect. And I already know where I want to put up the next agency. I kinda like forgot that in the last episode. And I wanted to create more agencies. Yeah, well, but with this game, there's always more things to do to be done than than I can do all at once. So here's the 
That's the recent corpse. That's the dude who drops the formation manuals, but like I said, not interested right now. What I'm looking for is a decent, harmless demon beast, just like this dude, or shaping. Just like the last one was that I wasn't able to uh, smack. Interesting. Whatever, we're going to send the dog in first. And bring our cultivator in after. This is uh, very, very... Oh, wait a sec, Sidu isn't attacked. Oh, dude. So my dog is actually capable of whacking that thing harder than my cultivator. Oh my goodness. So the last fight I, uh, I thought that... June was actually contributing, was wrong, it was all the dog. Nah, well. June is contributing by butchering that beast. Alright, so we come home with a obscene amount of iron ore, I like that. We can sell this stuff at the end of the day. <clears throat> if we can't do anything more useful with it, we're just going to sell it. All right, now let's finish that room. And Junju recharging her chi. Now she can go for the next break room. Okay, as far as I remember, the Metal Cultivator Law had a pretty low chance of success early on. Alright, we got 712 units of iron ore. It's freaking massive. So, here's another thing that I, that I figured. So, we're going to innate, we're going to start the dragon, the mission dragon poop. Okay, you guys, you will receive one brownstone from us. Yep. That's what we're gonna do. And then we're going to buy ourselves access to our to your premises. Deal, he says. Wonderful. So now we need to check out where where is the dog's feces? Where is feces in general? I know that's a little bit of a weird thing to ask for, but well, okay. I should have bought that when the trader was here the last time. He was selling feces. No! We can't start Mission Dragon Poop without having poop on our own. So, another option would be... Didn't I bring up a medicine table somewhere here? So, where's the laxative? Herbs and... Frost powder. Here, frost powder is made out of ice crystal water. Okay. Laxative is the easiest way of producing feces if you need some. We need what we need. Ice crystal ore here. The beast occupying these lands has awakened. This means that the uh, demon beast which is living on this map is now hostile. You gotta take that serious. Don't go near it if you're not ready uh, for a fight like that. And we are most certainly not right now. Okay, I got three more spirit wood logs. This is a tragedy, not cultivation. Alright. So let's wait for the yin yang for Junju grow a little bit better and uh, whip our people through the next break verse here. Alright, we've been sneak attacked. Oh no! So stealthy! Sorry. I, I can't stop myself. Oh yeah, so here's the thing. Never store beast blood right next to flammable things like cotton. 
it doesn't end well. So instead, we're going to do a a little bit of a workaround. So here, filter. Let's see. What does this uh, count for? This is a medicine. All right. So we're going to now store only buyer medicine here. Maybe this will work as intended. This is a consumable. You can't feed beast blood to somebody. Fascinating. Alright, another nice workaround for that. Oh wait a sec, we is to just put that stuff on the, on a display. Because the thing is it, it will now always it will keep re-incinerating stuff. That this is now a never ending story of uh, stuff going in flames. Passerby is in need of help. Who are you, I ask? We'll, we'll help you, but we won't re uh, recruit you. Your skills look horrible. Okay. Well, they didn't lie when they said to me that the breakthrough would take a while. Or would be hard. Okay. Now, we have harvested that ice crystal lore. Wonderful. So, let's produce frost powder and laxative. Boneman bomb, pain reliever. I just realized that my herb stockpiles are really, really massively low. So, how about adventuring over to this place? After the break for a bit, maybe? So, looks like June finally did it. Ah, they both did it. Alright, so... Let's go on an adventure here, because the timber is also useful, after all. And now, they aren't finished with the construction here either. Ah, because we're out of jade blocks. No, derped it out. But at least now I know why the building procedures didn't go further. Like I said before, sometimes there's just too much stuff going on. I have two immortal visitors now. Guys, why is this place so popular all of a sudden? Okay. Now let's get back to cultivation. Ginger's uh, cultivation speed is actually quite quite okay at this point, I'd say. So they didn't craft the laxative yet. We're lacking frost powder, it says. I'm, I'm confused now. Alright. June didn't manage to harvest what I wanted. But I did produce that frost powder, didn't I? Frost powder. They're still awaiting some of that stuff. Okay, so we're, we're just going to produce more of that. I'm not too experienced with... with the alchemy and all. It's stuff that I didn't do too often. In normal mode, not. Alright. A thick fog has suddenly started to form. Yo, June. I'm going to send June now over there until I got the necessary herbs. 
I feel very, very vulnerable right now with no herbs in store for my sect. Only a very low amount. You see, they, they are already uh, on the one. There's one more thing that I want to do, and that's, I think it's regular field, not herb card. If I remember correctly. Or am I wrong? Yeah, here. Herb. Most common basic medicine. We're just uh, going. We're just going to produce some of that ourselves. It's always a nice way to to get things done. All right. Cultivation speed of Junju is actually quite quite decent. Didn't expect that. Now let's see. Cultivator. Basic cultivation. That's what I. What I was using there now. Mass produced cultivation chambers. That sounds horrible. Okay. Let's give those places some roofs and all. And, well. Let's see. Cultivation Hotel will be over here. A polar night. So we're going to bring up a nice, humble abode. With plenty of space. Let's see. A nice, neutral spirit stone bed. Portals, rainstorms, a nice little cushion over there, and now let's fill in some decoration. Some neat things in there, and let's see how that'll work out in the long run. I'm pretty sure that this won't be enough yet, but let's start out with that. Okay, ten herbs. Good stuff, Jim. Ah, I was just wondering why there's minus one up there, but it was just somebody leaving my place. One of my infamous guests. So, wait a sec. No! No way! That one person that I wanted to recruit is now... No! Oh, shoot. This is making me very, very sad. My abbot material is just... appearing here to, to die, you know? We got no chance whatsoever to, to reach her in time. For some reason, these jobs never did get done. Oh man. That's effing sad. Alright, another, uh, another victim of the mountain. Oh, she's mentally unstable, but almost done. Alright. Now, I'll send June to a couple of trips over here. Let's pick five. Herb and wood is really, really good for our expansion plans. Although, I really got no clue <clears throat> how we're supposed to do that now. When one of the best candidates just explodes there. Oh, man. What a tragedy. Alright, let's see how quickly these lazy bums will will mine this out. Alright. Let's cancel that job here. Oh no, 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 no. I did cancel a lot of these now too. Oh, sh sh whatever. Hi y'all guy. Bye y'all guy. Easy. 
But uh, apart from that, why is nobody mining down there? Mm, okay, so we at least are now capable of traveling over there. Okay, so it turns out that we can cancel that route here. At least some good news. All right. So expansion is going to be super slow here. Oh man, this is sad. You don't get people as good as uh, as her that often. This was a really, really high social rating and all. But well, can't change it. At least I am now capable of digging it out. Alright, let's see how this day will go then. It was pattern fabric in the box. So... Why are they not mining? Somebody care to explain? No, seriously, why is nobody mining here? Building, eating, is building in a higher priority? Ah, uh, yeah, it is. Okay. So let's unassign a couple of people from the building jobs and then things should work out again. Alright, Junju, how's your uh, how's your mental state? Better. Ah, <gasps> oh, look at that! We got what we needed. So I actually can't remember if it was necessary to consume that stuff twice or once. So the feces immediately disappears when I unban it. Oh, it's decaying. But only if I unban it? Trying to understand what happens here. So wait a sec. A sec. Junju was... Did somebody, uh... So, the laxative is gone. And there's... Did they just consume that stuff randomly as a food? So they did produce that, and I'm pretty sure that Junju uh, consumed that. That's the only reason I feel like I'm falling apart. I don't feel so good. I really didn't. Th this is uh, normally they don't eat medicine stuff just like that. Here, yeah, laxative. That's super strange. I never have seen that, but at, after all, it does uh, it does do the job. Okay, dudes, now look away. This is not going to be fun. It's going to be a little bit ugly, but you see, it's for progress. It'll all make a awful amount of sense in a second. Maybe it's going to be more awful than sensible, but who cares? Okay, so these dudes are now ready to go to Wyvern Pool. Off you go, my little munchkins. Alright. So we're starting to carve ourselves into the mountain. That's good.
and we are massively out of spirit stone blocks, but I kind of waited that. All right. No, spirit crystal blocks. <laughs> Certainly not. Okay. People need farming tools, they say. I don't care. Not yet. It's gonna take a couple of days until we get to the point where we really need farming tools that much. Alright. Yuluhai. You can't have this one for sure. Alright. Are you... Wow! Holy moly! Yes, you stay. 51 or chi cents. <laughs> Fortuitous encounter. <laughs> you could say so. Wow. Alright, that dude. That dude is just friggin' massive. Cool. I mean, it would have been cooler if I w would have been allowed to keep that, uh other person, but, well, slowing down on agency building like that is bad. Agencies are, agencies are so massively important. I don't like what's happening there to me, but let's see, maybe, maybe I got a social capable person there, so Siku Yun, she is a Good thing in between. Fu Chen, I like that Chi Sense. I don't want to give that away. So this here, Siku Yan, we're going to we're going to send her to City of Abundance. That's okay. After this horrible mistake there, we'll have to do. So This is the Artificer's Sanctuary. Take some spirit stones, dear. Okay. We are taking in the scenery, whatever that means. I need to wait until Jinju has arrived there, too. There we go. And now, let's enter this place. So for the first time, we're going to enter with two cultivators at once. But that's just outright necessary. I hope that I'm... Alright. This is uh, rather disturbing. But only on the first side. So... The dog is going in first, so therefore... My cultivators should be safe. And let's see. Fighting S3, we take it down in time. It's dying faster than my dog. I was already, uh... I was afraid that this might happen, but honestly... All's well, fine. Okay. Now, loot-wise... This is, oh boy, look at that, a quadruple beast blood and 50 units of demon beast hide. Couldn't be better. So, I'm going to take a little bit of a stroll here. Ginseng, 125 units of ginseng. Wow. Okay. We need. We definitely need. Alright. Oh, 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 how strong is that thing? Four and a half grand. Let's just let's just run for it. Okay. We are, as a matter of fact, only interested in, in interacting with this steely. After all, this is why we came for, came here. And uh, there we go. The dragon poop galore. I really got no clue why the game is like that. That you receive a reward if your people were eating, you know, you know what I'm talking about. 
If this is some set, some sort of twisted humor, I don't get it. All right, so we only got room for these, but the we're we're going to do it quite simply. So, oh, I can't unequip my artifact here. Oh no. Okay, now that's tragic. So, oh, shoot. Well, whatever. These dragon poop artifacts are better than what I got. They are better than everything what I got. You know what? We're going to leave these uh, demon trinkets here as, as hard as it might be for me. But these artifacts have a... Uh... Oh, wait a sec. Ah, this one is a spirit relic. I don't want it. Uh-huh. Wait a sec. Oh, well, never mind. Artifacts with this battle power at this moment of the game are quite invaluable. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, let's get them home. The thing about the Dragon Feces is there it's one of the strongest earth chi gathering materials that which you can acquire, and therefore it's just massive. In terms of power, I mean. And, yeah. So, that's that. That's the end of today's episode. I think we did quite fine. I'm very sad about the fact that we, we lost somebody here. But at least... At least this should be one of the last times that this happens. The canyon is for sure one of the nastiest maps in that regard. But on the other hand... All the ores I want will be easily acquirable at all times of the year. Alrighty, drop your comments down below and I'd be really, really grateful to hear from you. You know that. Leave a thumbs up on this video to make it more visible to the rest of the people outside there. And of course, check out the channel. Daily videos happening there. Just subscribe. Turn on the notifications if you haven't done so already. And don't miss anything in the future. See you guys next time. Can't wait. Bye-bye.